My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent, and the power to turn runes into strength. Here, with you. I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. I, at the end of the last episode, decided to rest. And then as soon as I saw something was happening, I hit record. Thus the very, very uh, <laughs> abrupt introduction there. Oh my goodness gracious, we are in Landell. We're not going to stay here though. At least not yet. Can I summon Torrent here? No. Anyway. Yeah, I, I'm kind of at a loss for words. Just looking out over... Oh, oh, Bach? <laughs> what? Uh, all right. Um, here are my stats. Level 109. Pause it if you want to know more, but what is he doing here? Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Master, did you see it? The, the Erd Tree. I, oh, I don't really have the words for this. But I was so, so dazzled, I felt something stir in my breast. The Erd Tree is waiting for you, Master. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. It's gonna have to wait a little, little longer there. Ah, uh, still. Why? Look, you can actually alter Blides or even the twinned armor. Interesting, okay. Hmm. Thanks, Bok. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be... I will, I will. Yeah, so welcome to Lane Dell. Uh, it's 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 massive, and judging by the fact that I can see enemies on many of these rooftops, that, that means that we can actually explore the majority of this, which is just so scary. Also, what are these things? I mean, I can I can attack them. They die pretty easily. I don't even know what they're doing. They just play their horns. Huh? Oh my gosh, it's the snowman narrator from Rudolph. Okay, well anyway, like I said, we're not staying here. We're not. They're kazoos of death, that's what they are. <laughs> All right, let's back up. What we're gonna do is we looked at that map, the weather map at the end of the last episode, just to take a look at it one more time. And it definitely appears, by the way, I kind of gave up on all the artists. Paintings. I should go back and look at those. I could probably figure some of them out now. Uh, but it says, depicts streaks of amber light, and it just seems to be north of this one road that leads into the capital right here. So I think it's depicting this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the Forest Banning Great Bridge, see if we can get there from or by heading south. And if not, we're going to have to take a much, much larger trip, I think. Oh, wow, no. Look at how high up. That cliff is way, way, way taller than I thought. Oh, look, free item. Lump of flesh. Disgusting. Um, okay, that's still part of the wood folk ruins. So then what I decided I would have to do then is actually go here, the windmill village, and then just take this southern road. There's probably some ruins there, and we can follow that around. So that's what we're going to do. Because I would like to check that out. What would Pity be trying to show me? It, it was it even really Pity's map? I doubt it. Okay, so let's get on here. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to head this direction. Just follow it around to the east when we can. Right? There's a Oh, right, right, right. Trebuchets, trebuchets. Um, oh, heavens. Is this... 
Am I going where I want to go? I honestly don't even know right now. Ah! No, I want to turn this way. Take this path beyond the broken trebuchets. Every now and then, just kind of kick torn into high gear a little bit. Oh, there's a hero's grave. Is that what you're leading me towards? A hero's grave? I still haven't figured out Gelmir's. I don't think I need a Lane Dell one. <laughs> okay, well, we have a ruin here. What's interesting is that there's actually some Erdtree Guardians here. Well, at least one. Way up here, though. I mean, because that's... That's that one. That's that... Yeah, we've done that minor earth tree. Is this actually a ruin, or is this just a broken building? I mean, it could be unnamed. But it is big enough, it might have a sub-basement. Maybe not. What in the flip just happened? That didn't even hit you? Okay. Never mind. Where did you come from? Did that guy just become this? like fighting them, so I'm not gonna. I will never not try. Oh my gosh. The wrong buttons when I'm on horseback trying to use my staves. Oh good, yes, please. By all means. That's what I wanted you to kill. Oh, jump, jump. What, you? Dodge, nice dodge. All right, there we go, there we go. All right, what in the world was that all about? Oh, that larval tear. Okay, kind of interesting. Uh, oh, I just saw the amber bolt, it's lightning. So it's gonna bring me to these lightning fields. Where there's going to be some Fulgur Bloom, sure, but also... Are you... Okay, Sight of Grace. What are you actually trying to show me? Beyond just the lighting. Is it the Hero Grave? I don't want to do a Hero's Grave. I don't. They haven't been all that fun, if I'm being honest. What is this called? Rampart Side Path. Okay. Yeah, I see the hero's grave. I don't actually kill or I care about killing you guys. What are you gonna blow? Why are you gonna blow that? To some of the people that are literally right next to you? Ah, yep, yeah, sure enough, vulgar bloom. Uh these sheep should probably leave. Um, uh, except they're lightning sheep. What? They drop fog. Oh my god, they're eating the Fulgur Bloom. Oh my gosh, they're eating the Fulgur Bloom. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. So we definitely have the Hero's Grave straight ahead. But someone's in front. I don't know if it's being guarded. Or if there's an NPC. My, okay, it's being guarded. 
Oh, it's a Black Knife Assassin. How fun. That works for me. Oh my. That's going well. For me. Okay. That... That was a nice smooth kill. <laughs> that was fun. And I get the actual black knife. Okay, don't mind if I do. I can use it. Requires some uh, some faith that acts holy damage. Okay. Dagger once belonged to one of the assassins who murdered Godwin the Golden on the night of the Black Knives. A ritual performed on the oddly misshapen blade imbued with the power of the stolen rune of death. The Blade of Death is a unique skill. Unleash the power of the Rune of Death to fire off a blade-like projectile. In addition to dealing immediate damage, the blade reduces the enemy's maximum hit points and continues to wear down HP for a while. What? Uh, wait a minute. I didn't actually notice. Does that have a critical modifier? 110. Okay. That might be replacing Misery Cord. That might be. That sounds really, really, really cool. Now, before we go into what is what is sure to be just, just hell, <laughs> let's let's call it what it is. I I am not digging the hero's grave. I kind of want to check out that other structure that I saw on the precipice. Um, although, can we even open this? Yeah, of course we can. Is there a site of grace? Maybe at the bottom, but not right here. Okay. So let's go. Oh, we got a little bit of lore here. Oh, more more lightning goats. Oh, we have a scarab who's already kind of rolling her way, which is interesting. Got it. We got lightning. Lightning ram. Did I just get this? Look at this stupid thing. So tenacious. Uh, did I just get the ability to do that? Skill inspired by tumbling rams. Let out a bleat. Then <laughs> tumble forwards, clad in lightning. Tumbles can be repeated in rapid succession. Usable in all melee. I can be a goat. Uh, and we're gonna be a goat. Oh my gosh. Okay, so lots and lots and lots of swords. There should be a big one that I can then read, but first, I want to go grab this item. Oh. So that's still a thing, huh? More lightning? Stone sword key is kind of what I anticipated. All right, there is the, the, oh. Gosh, it's so fun. So fun. What do we got? The routing of the ancient dragons. Godwin the Golden fought to the last, earning the friendship of Dread Fortisax. But I just killed Fortisax. Whoops. <laughs> I don't think I'm really quite following the lore of this uh, of this game, or even a little. But uh, I, I know that. Fia just tried to have a baby with Godwin, and then I fought Fortisax because of it, so I'm not sure if that's a connection that I'm supposed to make, but I did. Not too proud of it. All right, grab that. And grab that. Nice. Okay, so it looks like this might be another church. Did you see me? Yeah, you saw me. Oh. Whoa. You held that for a long time, huh? And. Kind of want to just knock you off. There we go. 
There we go. Got you. Thank you. I'm loving this mace. I don't know how you all feel, but I, I love it. Storm Collar Church. Would you just stop? Mm. You're annoying. Okay. Also, a chest kind of somewhat hidden. Leather draped tabard. I'm sure that has a lot of good information. It is leather after all. Dragon Bolt Blessing. Dragon Bolt Blessing. Are you not an incantation? You are. I just missed it. Right? There we go. Bolters cast bolsters a caster's body with lightning. Summons lightning to bolster the caster's body. Attacks become easier to deflect, and resistance to all ailments is increased. However, lightning damage negation will be reduced. Only those loved by dragons can survive the ordeal by, by cladding. It's late. I've been recording a lot today. The ordeal of cladding their bodies in lightning. That's actually kind of cool. I wonder how long that lasts. So we have here lightning great bolts. Oh, lots of gravel stones. Okay, and sacred tier. Excellent. That's what I was hoping for. Cool, cool. All right. Now, where? So this is the main the main road leading into, oh, wow. Look at those statues. Look at all the craters around. I can actually see a, a scab or scarab from here on the other side. There's also a bear. And there's some steps going down. Well, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that right now. Instead, it is time. We're going to go in the hero's grave. I don't want to. And if it's anything like the other ones, we're going to be here for a couple parts. But such is the way it goes. We have gotten some good loot. It's got to be said we have gotten some really good loot out of it. And I still think I have to go back to Gelmir's and, and finish that off. Something about there's actually two chariots, not just one. I, news to me. Now, please just have a set of grace. That's all I ask. Oh, perfect. Oh, interesting. Sainted Hero's Grave. And it looks like we have a message. And we have an imp door. So what does the message say? Shadow bathes in light and knows weakness. So I need to illuminate something. I mean, I've, I've played Zelda Link to the Past. If you're talking about Shadow the Thief. Is it Shadow? I think it's Shadow, right? Uh, kind of feel a little guilty just killing you like that. But what are you, uh... Crimson Sea Talisman. Don't I have the Cerulean Sea Talisman? This is going to increase the amount of HP restored, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Erdtree was once perfect and eternal, and thus was it believed that Erdtree seeds could not exist. Alrighty. So, gotta think about that. Shadow and light and weakness and all that. That looks like that's where the chariot's gonna start. More Revenant worshippers. Is there going to be a Revenant? Come on, get it off, get it off. Ah! Man! Yeah, no one's surprised by that. <laughs> Why? Why would I want to be... Oh, hey, look. Look at the light. Oh, what is it doing? 
What is it doing? Was that to try to teach me the light mechanic? Oh, you... Okay. That's... Just get over here. Come on. When I first saw the imp, I thought there was something wrong with it. Because it seemed like it was all black. I... Oh, level five. Yeah, see, look. I bet I can't damage it. Let's try. Yep, that's why. Aha! You need to draw them into the light. All right, I like that. Come on. I don't like it if they don't actually, you know, do it, though. Come on. Right here, right here. Come on. Oh, and they do get a nice stun, which is perfect. So is this... Is this where I would have just run down? It is. Okay. So you do that so you can see the mechanic in action, I guess. Which is fine. I, I don't mind that. Oh, I definitely see more, though. How do I... How do I draw them into light? Okay, I see the light. Oh, Revenant. Nope. Nope. Oh, I wish I had put my lantern on. Oh, move. Go, 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 go. Oh, tried to jump over that. That didn't work. All right, once I have gotten them in the light and killed them, then I'll turn the lantern on. Oh, that works nicely. All right, because I want to be looking for illusory walls here. Okay, so far this isn't a bad hero's grave. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna have to roll. Nature of the beast here. Is there not gonna be a carriage in here? Is there not gonna be a chariot? That's the word I was looking for. Not not carriage. Still don't think that's gonna be true. Oh, wait a second. I mean, I don't think I'm supposed to walk in there, but I don't think I have much of a choice. Lindell Soldier Ashes. Spirits of soldiers each equipped with a spear and a great shield. The soldiers of Landell fight their battles defensively. During the Shattering, they were the ramparts that fortified the royal capital. I mean, maybe those are better than Shieldy Boys, but I kind of doubt it. All right. Let's make this happen. Oh. Okay. That works. Hey, everyone in. All right, that's easy enough. And what are we doing here? What am I letting in? Ah, uh, I'm good. <laughs> Thanks, though. Uh, grave Glove Word 3. That makes it seem like some of those other areas we've been in were kind of above this in difficulty. Okay, definitely some places to go up. Holy cow. Yeah, let's uh let's just take this first one. Okay. Yeah, oh. I just hate fighting these things. Of course I don't really want to get uh boom. Whoa! I don't really want to get uh, completely bum rushed by them either. Okay. So that's uh that's another one, not two, fortunately. They're actually not too bad with this weapon. 
just don't want to get grabbed. Uh, would like you to be drawn away. Alright, anyway, what do we got? Dragon Crest Shield Talisman 1. I don't think I... I don't think I got the original one, did I? I don't know if I did. Let's see. No, I didn't. It, hey, greatly boosts physical damage negation. The ancient dragons, uh, it's, a, it's all the same. We've read that time and time and time again. All right, let's go, let's keep going this way. Actually, I don't mind this if this is more of a catac- Oh, okay. So this just brings me back to that room. All right. But yeah, I don't mind if this is more of a catacomb than a hero's grave. You know, no chariots and all that. You just watch. I say that, and this this is just going to be bigger than any of the others. Or all of the others, for that matter. Okay. Where else do I want to go? I don't think I can go anywhere else up. That's fine. Do your thing. Good golly. Good golly. Okay. Um, I just wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Made me nervous. You know, just running out there and just being face to face with a, a, a horse. Oh, is this where the chariot is? <laughs> Maybe not? Oh, you. fast <laughs> they're so fast uh, all right let's try to get back to those runes my word I mean luckily it really isn't that challenging at least yet I'm sure it will be I like this mechanic though it's different <laughs> Surprised that they didn't use something like that. God, right, I forgot. You can leap half a mile. I don't know why they didn't use this more though. I think it's pretty cool. All right. Okay, just keep going, just keep going. Drop down. Don't get caught by the horse. Okay. Tight corner. Oh! <laughs> well, can't get mad at that. That was kind of funny. Yeah, this is this is more enjoyable. I know I've just died twice very quickly and I hate those remnants so so very much. You know, I kind of think it's funny with all the puzzles that they've given me that I have found to be completely obtuse and frankly frustrating at times. This one they gave me a pretty direct hint on how this mechanic worked and yet I think I could have just figured it out. <laughs> I'm a much, much bigger proponent of show, don't tell. So if they had just shown me, you know, by way of going through that illusory wall, that the light makes these shadow imps vulnerable, I think that would have been a lot more entertaining. But just having a note there is just kind of more blatant than I'm used to them being. All right, let's see if we can make it this time. Ugh, I really, really do hate those revenants. Uh, I'm gonna wait for it. There we go. I'm gonna wait for this one too. Oh, for flip's sake. 
<laughs> Never mind, no more waiting. Aha. Uh -huh. Someone died. There we go. Alright. Man, those revenants. They're so, so, so fast. But you know what? But you know what? We can do this. Okay, that was, that was fast. That was a good kill. Happy with that. Now let's do no more revenants at all. Ever. Oh my heavens. Let's let's get to it. What? Let's get to it. Uh, but there's no light here. So how, how do? Oh, golly. Okay. Oh, jeez. Sure, sure. But, hmm. There's no light here. Do I have to, dr how far back do I have to drag you? Why is there another one? Oh, things are getting silly now. I don't like this hero's grave anymore. What was that about? Well, on that note, <laughs> might have to take some more precautions, but that's going to do it for this episode of Blue Plate Zelda Ring. Next time, we'll probably be right here in the Sainted Hero's Grave. The one I was just saying I kind of enjoyed, I don't enjoy it anymore. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.